does so much inside. Right. So much, he'll go right off to the side and say a whole bunch of important stuff and then come back to his point. Right. You're going to go to New Bedford. There's two people. There's always Irish in the And we're usually no black here to go. And it's the big Portuguese element, fishermen, mm -hmm. and the French Canucks. Right. It's still New England. And so she joined. Uh, her mother and father died early. Really. But anyway, she, her older sister brought her up. But she joined this French Canadian order. A French Canuck order, but got stationed in Canada. Mm -hmm. And she was a real serious person. When she got out, because she had all these degrees, mm -hmm. plus experience of the yin yang, right? Right. She taught them the hype. Rich People's Academies and the poorest section of Montreal. She got a job in six months as supervisor for Head Start. And flew all over the world. <laughs> yeah, because they're overly educated nuns. Yeah, that's one piece. But there's something else that's more important that you need to listen to that he was trying to get your attention. Yep, by using that. Because yeah. we all woke right up when he would say those words. Oh, yeah. What's he saying now? <laughs> Did he really say that? Yeah, oh yeah. We, we got yeah. to know that, yes. I mean, there were times that I didn't agree with everything he said when I'm sitting in that, in that pew, I would say. And then I'd go up to him and I'd say, why did you say that? And he'd say, oh, Alice, I just said it because I wanted people to, to think about it. And he would shock you, you know. Maybe he'd use some curse words. He'd just get so into it with such zeal, and he'd get your attention. That's a clerical hang-up of the people. They, they want clergy, so they won't be so responsible. <laughs>